Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> like, I was really hype on the second one. Like, hell yeah! I'm like, hell yeah! Y'all having fun? Say hell yeah! Hell, hell yeah! yeah. Right, so, right, right. so this poem, this poem is for my mother, my best friend, the one that gave me the gift of life, the one who would lift my spirits and force me to be the best I could be, dressed me and made sure I always ate my vegetables, along with a cold, crisp bottle of Sprite. The Sprite always quenches my thirst. Drink Sprite. Drink Sprite at every poetry slam you win to congratulate yourself and refresh your mind after a long night of going in. Mm -hmm. See, many of America's leading corporations have begun using hip-hop and its artists to sell their products, and recently, it seems like poets are the new commodity. If they had their way, our stories would only serve to sell their products. In 2007, Sprite changed its slogan from Obey Your Thirst to Obey. Obey. Obey everything but your conscience. Obey the law. Sit in the back of the bus where you belong. Obey. Obey the government officials you elected or didn't. Obey. Obey your husband even if he lays his hands on you. Obey every billboard like a commandment in a time when we're told to think that the only thing we should be making is money. The mere act of creating something new is an act of rebellion. A revolution. You see, our art may start from the paper, but it doesn't have to end with it. This poetry is power, but we're beginning to write our pieces with the same pens that used to sign our souls over to them. The ink is colored green. Our morals are somewhere in the fine print, and our identities are sugar-coated with slogans. We all try to climb the corporate ladder, only to find the puppeteer at the top, dangling something over the catwalk. And then you remember that one time that PR guy said, I could pull a few strings for you. <laughs> you might have chosen different if you known they'd be attached to your arms and legs and if they make those lines so long you don't even realize you're hanging on a cross. Hell, by a corporate Geppetto telling lies to us like, I'm a real poet! Making your nose grow mm -hmm. up the size of your wallet. See, don't get me wrong. I understand what it's like to want something to wish upon when you haven't seen a shooting star in a while and the only crickets that speak to you are the ones in silent coffeehouse crowds. But I ain't trying to end up with that cotton confidence. Tired of being picked for the wrong reasons. And I ain't trying to sell myself, but I'm going to college. And Friday night slams won't get me into Monday morning classes. My mother spent 25 years living in apartments. And shit. The pole in the bottle and spit in the poem can get her own spot. I think I'd do it. I just hope our voices don't get caught in the tangle of marionette marketing until we can't tell if it's us or the ventriloquist speaking. Racing each other to the paycheck, running so hard to the finish line, neck and neck we don't even notice the corporate execution is holding the same guillotine above us, trying to get a cut off our culture, and we're left with the severed heads of dead presidents in our pockets. What happens when they commodify nonconformity? The revolution is hanging by a thread. I just hope we're still the puppeteers. Thank y'all, man. Thank you.